Welcome back to another exciting episode of the Fort Johnson Podcast. I'm your host, and today we have a special treat for our listeners. Joining us from the Fort Johnson Fire Department are Alex Rivera and Mark Gilbert, who will be sharing a fantastic initiative that's sure to bring smiles to the faces of our young ones. The Fire Department is hiding rubber ducks all over the garrison, and it's up to kids to find them. When they do, they can return the ducks to the Fire Department and to claim a prize and more importantly, learn about fire safety. It's a fun and engaging way to keep our community safe and informed. So stay tuned as we dive into the details of this creative campaign and hear more about the importance of fire safety from our dedicated guests. Let's get started. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you are watching our podcast. I am Jeff England from the Fort Johnson Public Affairs Office, and we are in the Fort Johnson Podcast Studios. Today with me, I have from the fire department, uh, Alex Rivera and Mark Gilbert. And these people are fire inspectors, supposedly. They go around checking to make sure that uh, that we're setting fires properly and stuff. <laughs> That's right. But uh, today they're going to be talking about our uh, or their new initiative, uh, Rubber Ducks. <laughs> it's like every time I hear Rubber Ducks, I'm thinking um, uh, Bert and Ernie. Uh, rubber Ducky, yeah. you're so good. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. what's going on? Hey, Gab, great to have you back. Oh, yeah, great to be back. Um, we, uh, we're we doing this. We're kind of uh, starting to back up, I believe, last year with the um, with the – Wildland fires and the and the big dry season that we had last yeah, year. Yeah, don't remind me of that. Oh, yeah, we didn't get a chance to to do this. We did it the year before, or, or a couple years back, maybe uh, pre COVID. But we, we were trying to bring it back and uh, add it, uh, push it out there more in a big way. So what we're doing is uh, we set up this little program, this little duck hunt, uh, <laughs> to help the just before the kids start school. Uh, to give them something fun to, to chase down and as well as um, give them uh, uh, the, get them get them prizes they get they, they not only do they get to keep the rubber ducky but they also um, they'll get some um, uh, a nice little gift pack that we have at the fire station as well as some educational informative uh, stuff that we have that it'll help us ramp up our little uh, way in towards fire prevention week in October. See, and the whole thing I got out of that is they get to keep the duck. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> like one so, last hurrah before before school starts. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. The uh, so uh, and the ducks are waterproof. Apparently, I mean they are ducks, right? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're um, they they they're yeah they're sealed, and they all they all the, have the their mothers. own little uh, fire extinguisher and everything. Yeah. <laughs> it's like. For the moms out there with the young ones that are worried about their ducks going in the bath <laughs> and getting all moldy on the inside, these things are sealed, too. So sealed. Don't worry about that. Nice. But they don't squeak, so. No, no, no squeak. <laughs> so we don't have to worry about the dogs pl wanting to play with them. <laughs> and I, I did test them as well. I, I have one on my dash in my car. It, it, it holds up pretty good, but it does soften up if you leave it in the sun for far too long. <laughs> I haven't. My experiment is still ongoing. Uh, so far, I've had it on my dash for about three months. I'm going to test that one to see how it is. But you know how it is, Louisiana weather. It's oh, gonna yeah. It's going to get hot. It's going to melt out. But if you are a Jeep owner uh oh, and you have rubber duckies <laughs> on them, whichever ones that survived, they're, the, they're basically the same model, same types. <laughs> they're, they're, if those survived, these will survive as well. Um, these are just way cooler because they're yeah. all yeah. Yeah, because they're they're little fire ducks. Yeah. <laughs> so whose idea was it to come up with a, a a duck hunt? Well, it was uh it was two of our inspectors that we had uh, uh our our lead inspector which is uh David Cavalier. He's uh it was his uh kind of his brainchild and he had his uh partner in crime his name was uh I say his last name Rusty's Guentello. Yeah, Guentello. I we always called him Rusty. Well, it was them two. They they kind of set it off in motion, and uh, and uh, the Guardian actually did a, a nice little piece on them about it. Uh, if you get a chance to see that article, our <laughs> our lead inspector did not have a mustache at the time, but now he has a huge <laughs> mustache. So you you kind of won't tell the difference, but it's pretty. I wish I had the article so I can just flash it. <laughs> he hates that picture because he don't have a mustache on it. Well, that's too bad. Well, you know, it's it's he'll be ready for March. For yeah. Mustache March. Well, if we do find it, we'll put it up on the screen for y'all. <laughs> but because uh, because he's gonna he's gonna love that, by the way. But uh, but we uh, 
uh, the the uh, the uh, we put little flyers out. It's a little uh, wanted signs. Uh, we have it on the Guardian. We also have we're we're also going to put it out in uh, around the public so so people can see it. Um, we also um, uh, the last time we did this, uh, people were showing up at like. 11 o'clock at night on a Saturday at the fire station, <laughs> bringing ducks in. And so this is going to be during normal business. So hours. we wanted to keep it. We wanted to make sure we specified that it was during normal business hours, <laughs> Monday through like, Friday. It's like come back between nine and five. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so seven to four is when we're, we're there. So let's keep it between seven and four. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Aggravate everybody who's working there at night. But <laughs> even if you, even if you, if you stumble across one of these ducks and you don't know anything about it, the one cool thing we did is we put uh, the yeah, number of yeah, the duck under it and, and a, a phone number. And a that? phone number. So you give it a call. We'll give you all the information you need. Again, 7 to 4. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, right there we'll tell you. What's yeah. that that number? 53103? It's 337 uh, 0775. 337-531-0775. Yep. Yep, and that's just one of our desk numbers in, yeah. in the office. Well. My desk in particular. Yes, his desk. So, so if if nobody out. answers, don't bring the duck in yet. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> we're not going to put them out until I think August 1st is yeah. when we're going to start putting them out. Mm -hmm. And it's going to run through the month of August unless they're all found. Now, also, we want to we want to emphasize that it, you want the kids to find them. Absolutely. So, so don't kids. so if if you're an adult, don't go around looking for all of them because they might have to put them back out there. Yeah. So, what are some of the what are some of the locations they've been found in the past? Oh, all over the place. All over the oh, that helps. Yeah, oh. Sarah, the PX. <laughs> pretty much, we try to put them in places where kids will be. Yeah, where parents are going to take their kids. So yeah, maybe, the, maybe the Splash Park might be a good Ooh. place to look for one. Maybe the commissary. Or the Catfish PX. Cove. Yeah. Maybe Catfish Cove yeah. might be a good place. Now, now, granted, we if you'll see it at Catfish Cove or any or any of these places that these guys are trying to hint out on, because we ain't giving any much hints. We're not going to put it anywhere dangerous or crazy. You're not going to see one of these ducks floating around in the in the in the lake unless somebody had <laughs> gotten one and there. threw it out there. Yeah, it's not going to be in the middle of yeah the catfish pond because we uh, uh, anchored. It yeah. <laughs> be like anchored out in the middle. <laughs> no, in I know, the, right? In the middle of an, a flock of ducks. <laughs> oh god, we don't need somebody's three year old trying to swim to it out there. And I imagine that um, these these duck ducks are not going to flock together. <laughs> so. No, they're, no, there's a good chance is, they're going to be pretty far. This apart. will probably be the last time that all ten of these ducks will be together. Well, and no, I, I would imagine that you're going to put them back together when they bring them in. Oh so, yeah, yeah, so yeah, it'll be all the little pachinos. Oh That's yeah. Portuguese for. <laughs> oh, nice. So yeah, we'll we'll have them all together and everything, and uh, we don't want to we don't want to alienate any of the uh, grownups that do find it. If you do find it, uh, and you see the you see it. Uh, uh, we would we would like it for you to just to, to to keep it there for the kids. And if there if you can give us a give us a call, and if you did find it and you give us a call, um, we'll, we'll we can still help you guys out for for finding it. So what kind of prizes are you are you handing out? What's the examples of the prizes? Um, we uh, it's a, it's kind of like a like a fun bag for the kids. Um, yeah, there's there's some goodies in there, some back to school type stuff. We don't want to give too much away. But yeah, some back to school oh, stuff. Uh, it's a brand new car. <laughs> no, <laughs> that is that is for sure not. <laughs> not even a Hot Wheel. Come on. We, we maybe could do that. Maybe a Hot Wheel. They can win. They could be the big winner. Yeah, yeah. nice <laughs> brand new Corvette Hot Wheel. <laughs> Get a drawing from me or whatever. Oh yeah, I've got drawings. I've got drawings from you too. The yeah. whole place got them. They're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> he used to be. He actually used to uh, be a cartoonist or a uh, not a cartoonist, but a, a characterist, char char character char artist, character artist for uh, Disney. Mm -hmm. So that hey, professional, yeah, professional. Not only you are a man of many talents. Yeah, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I, just, I try my best. I like I like trying to embarrass them. It's it's pretty hard to do though. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, my self esteem is almost non existent. It's it's not. There. Yeah, it's not there. <laughs> we got we got to build it up just to tear it down again. <laughs> so how many uh, how many ducks are we putting out there? And um, do you plan on um, maybe rehiding them if if they get found too fast? 
I don't know if we that might discuss that, that might be topic. something to discuss. Like we we have been we have been discussing on that. I because t- we we talked about it. I talked about it with uh, with Cavalier and with the guy who's kind of front running this whole thing. Uh, uh, the whole office of prevention is the one that's running it, just to make sure to let y'all know. But um, if the the way this goes is when we'll start planning on whether we'll make it more uh, labyrinth. Or, Meaning, we're, we're, I was thinking about even setting up a geo tracker on it and just have Oh, could do, you imagine do. putting the little, uh, the the tags on there, the geo trackers? <laughs> yeah, like just putting it, like, like just hiding in one of those geo tracker spots and people over there uh, the, on their on their apps and they got to go find this tree and some of the things. I, I, I don't know if you guys ever gone geo tracking uh, around here, but it was just one of those things. Where I, I was trying to help the kids out, and it became, it, it, it spread out from just being a small area to basically all of Southwest Louisiana. And I, and I was like, no, I'm not. We're not driving all the way down towards uh, uh towards Cassat and the other side of Cassachi just to find a uh, specific thing. Tell you what, if we do make it too easy this year, we'll just start throwing out grid coordinates and let them oh use i know right <laughs> we got yeah. people land nav out there it's like oh, th- three paces this way x marks the spot and well i think Might one year to. i think one year uh jimmy uh james MacArthur. i'm dropping your name i don't care jimmy uh <laughs> he he climbed up one of the one of the uh, obstacle course uh ropes and put it up on the top over there oh really i was like nah i, I mean if one of the kids gets it he deserves Absolutely. To get whatever gift he gets oh, yeah, out absolutely. of there, he's, he's probably going to be the first prize. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but we're we're not. We're trying my best not to put it anywhere where somebody can get hurt. Now, if they come over on a, a, a any specific, or if they come over at the right time, can they share the the chili, the firehouse chili that you guys aren't going to make? Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they can get some of Cavaliers chili. Yeah, okay, yeah. we had a, we had a chili competition a while back, but it was a uh, bad marketing and also bad timing. Because, well, maybe you should work on that, Mister. Yeah, well, it, it was bad because only <laughs> only three people competed on this, and one of the competitors just pulled out a can of Wolf chili and opened it and just laid it on the table. Is it homemade or Wolf? Uh, it was it was that Wolf can. <laughs> yeah, and and they didn't even cook it. They just opened the can and turned it over and put it on there. <laughs> and that was one of the competitors. Why? Well, uh, I could just see it coming out in the shape of the oh, can. It was, <laughs> it was bad. Like... <laughs> it was bad. Uh, the the guy who won just had his arms crossed, just so angry because he he. Spent Spent all night making his chili, and nobody came to compete. That was Dave, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't want to drop his name, but oh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna David Cavalier, him. lead inspector. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could have helped judge. I mean, it's yeah. like, hey, I love chili. I actually, but, I wanted to participate. I just didn't. Uh, I didn't have enough time and uh, 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 stuff. But but afterwards, we did have a rib cook off, and he, he won second place. Nice. But I didn't have very many competitors in that either. Oh, so. we we had a pretty good amount, but it was. <laughs> The the ribs were amazing, by the way. Uh-huh. It was the only thing was like it wasn't it was it was oh man I that's I, I dream of that day to, to come back again. I'm not talking <laughs> it up just because he's here because all of them that made him were great. It's just uh, I, I I had to choose by how I was able to eat it. Uh-huh. And the I, basically I put they all taste great, but the the one that was easiest to eat was the was the winner for my part, and that's why I, that's how I chose. Gotcha. But it was great. That's like a boneless chicken wings are easy to eat, but they're not wings; they're chicken nuggets. <laughs> yeah, I don't even. Basically. Oh, chicken duck wings. Yeah, <laughs> dark wing duck. Uh, yeah. So, so if they find if they find these uh, these ducks and they bring them back to the fire department, uh, what what can they expect to learn? What are some of the what are some of the lessons that uh, that they can learn? Are they going to have to practice or or do anything special? Well, like, we uh, like hold the fire hose or drink well, from the we, fire we, hose we, or anything. Well, we what we plan to do for the kids if uh, if they when they come by, we're we're going to give them a tour of the station. Uh, we're going to give them a tour of the fire trucks. We'll. Uh, we usually have a little setup of of the of a, a inch and a half, or which basically is a regular fire hose that you would have on the truck, and they get to shoot down some cones. Uh, we have a, now. A if you put the pressure on those those inch and a half uh, hoses, is that enough to, to push the the kids around? because so, every yeah. time I think, I just think they're going to be flying all over the place. Oh, I would so. love it. <laughs> yes, yes, and no. We've we've done this for several tours in the past that have come through the station and. What we usually do is we'll just hook a hose up to the building's water supply. So there's still a good bit of pressure. So, like, they're going to feel it, 
but it's also not going to sling them around the parking lot. Mm-hmm. Well, that's good. <laughs> so. <laughs> the last thing we need are kids flying all over the place. <laughs> I won the duck! <laughs> yeah, they're they're going to feel it pushing back on them a little bit and give them that that realistic It'll be, feel. You'll have a fireman behind you holding it and making sure you don't go anywhere. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll make sure they have a good time, though. We'll have that. Uh, they'll have a they'll have a the little goodie bag that they're gonna that they'll get. They get to keep the duck. We'll take some photos, um, and then basically whatever they want to uh, hang out and do with us, we'll we'll let them try it out. Uh, you know, uh, minus minus driving to a scene, putting out an actual photo. Oh uh, yeah, but you know you know if Within reason. Within if it reason. was me, I would want to uh, go flip on the the siren to the the fire trucks. Oh absolutely, <laughs> no, there's yeah. been a bunch of kids around here that's done that bunch no, of. Yeah. Every time we do a static displays, it's just wow, it's just constant boom, 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 right? Yeah, and they everything. love making noise. Yeah. Oh, the other the other fun thing would be getting on uh, the the crash trucks and in spraying the cannons from that. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. we that. have we actually do at the at that main station where, where when they get the tour, they get to see all the fire trucks and 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 trucks that we have because it's basically everything that that all three fire stations will have will be staged will be staged out at the main station they'll see the big the big huge uh uh fire trucks that we use during the wildland fires crash trucks the big crash trucks We've got yeah. a ladder there rescue ladder. trucks mm-hmm. the hazmat engines, truck the hazmat truck crushed my hand in you side know by side. when i was when i was <laughs> oh yeah a kid, we got the, the side by sides as well yeah when i was a kid i always wanted to be the the driver the tail driver of a ladder truck, the extra long ladder truck driving in the back. Oh, what's uh, the? Um... We don't have any of those around here, but no. uh, I mean, but that was that was always that always looked like fun. Yeah, I think our our old fire chief, Chief Cook, he was a uh, uh, when he when he was a fireman over in Moss Bluff. That was his. Well, not Moss Bluff, wherever he was at before here. He was that was his that was his job. He was the tail driver. Uh, I forgot what they call those though. You got a pretty good relationship with the the front end driver. To, <laughs> yeah, to be in in that good a sync to navigate around people and obstacles and everything else with that. Mm-hmm. Cause but you got it, two people steering in, in two totally different directions to go around. Yeah, that would be fun though. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of trust. Yeah. So have we? Have how has been? How has the uh, the uh, fire prevention been going? Uh, this year, since we've gotten a little bit more rain, and um, are we are we concentrating more on prevention and safety uh, this year than trying to put out all these wildfires like we were last year? Well, we uh, we're still um, working uh, really uh, closely with uh, with the wildland with the wildland guys with forestry and stuff to make sure that we're um, we we kind of do a joint effort with uh, with our control but with their control burns. Basically, we set up meetings and we'll go out there and we'll help uh, protect some of the barriers for them. So when they're doing control burns, they don't go they don't go, they don't go crazy. Uh, we we we're still very uh, up on the on weather and everything, but it's been a very uh, rainy season this year. So we're not really. Uh, it's not. I'm not saying we're not concerned. We're just. We're still keeping an eye out for it's it. It's a lot less serious. But than it's last year. Yeah. serious than last year. Yeah, but. Uh, this year we're more we're more concerned with like power outages and generator usage and things like that. Like when I when we came in, talk, yeah. when I went to the radio stations to talk about the generators uh, safety. Uh, we're pushing a big we're pushing big on on generator safety for this, uh, especially now with hurricane. hurricane season coming in. Oh yeah, that's where the ducks come in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If your duck's floating off, probably will shortly as well. Yeah. <laughs> so at the uh, how many how many ducks are you going to be hiding throughout yeah. the installation? We're going to be doing ten ducks, ten ducks, and each of them have a number under it and everything. So now, do you have like prizes set aside for each number, or or is it just here's they're all the they're all going to be the same? So it's no no reason to go out and find. Uh, all the ducks just uh, no no the numbers are just to make sure that we get a count yeah uh, just to make sure we count head for count for all it's like we're missing number 10 yeah <laughs> so if you so if the kids find if the kids find a duck there's no need to go out and find a second duck and a third duck it's uh, uh but the but the kids can get together and go out and try to find one duck for each kid yeah. in the group, so they that could do might, that. that might be a lot of fun. You yeah, know, they could do, like, do that. Well, all the all the the prizes would be the the same. It's gonna be the same prize for uh, one duck per person. I know I didn't specify that on the flyer, but uh, it will be it would be best to, to to keep it for one duck per person. To so it's a share the wealth of education because all, all you would end up doing is getting an extra tour and an extra package uh, packet for for the whole ordeal. Did you bring any of the 
Did you bring any of the prizes or the, any of the packages? Oh, no, no. We, we really want to keep... We're, play, we're playing those cards. Yeah, we're, we're trying to keep that close to the... Uh, close to the, uh, well, the only thing we can really tell you you're going to get out of this is the duck, and you, you're going to get... So the duck is... Hats. So at least the duck the, and is the, fire the hat, prize. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and a fire hat? Yeah, yeah. You're going to get a duck, and you're going to get a fire hat. Everything else, we're kind of keeping hush-hush. Kind of makes me want to go out and find a duck now. Okay. I want to get a fire hat. My, my wife and daughter have actually been begging me to tell them where we're going to put these. So they can come out here and try and find one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we, <laughs> that's like, that's like those the, the rules for radio uh, contests and stuff. It's like, sorry, yeah. <laughs> employees aren't allowed to. Yeah. Have. No friends, family, and yeah. no employees. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, how you've done this before, just not last year. You've but you've done them before. Yeah, so uh, how often or how many times have you or have you done this or that you uh, know of? They at least? Uh, they they were we were bringing it back. They did it one time before. I think it was prior. prior is it during COVID or pre COVID? It's it's been a couple of years since we've done yeah. it, and especially with last year. We were a little preoccupied this time. Just of year. a little, yeah. So, <laughs> but we're yeah. we're trying to keep it an annual thing and keep it going. And uh, the best time to that we wanted to do this was just before school starts, so it gets the kids kind of like, uh, like because the ducks have to go back to school too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Or Definitely. no, they have to go back to flock. The, the, the fish go back to school. Yeah. <laughs> That's why fish are smart. Yeah, it just, it, it just gets us like a little, like a, a little heads up for, um, uh, on preparing for fire prevention week that, that'll be coming up in October and, uh, and just gets the education out there and, and, and teaching the kids. Uh, a big thing we also want to teach the kids when they come in is about um, uh, making an uh, escape plan or a evacuation plan in their homes. And, uh, and practicing it, and practicing it, uh, and 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 we we push that every time we do our tours with the kids at the fire prevention uh, during fire prevention week we push it heavy on on the kids to to in, uh, engage with their parents to do to to do these things because it is very important. Uh, the wor the the worst thing that could happen is when we go, when we when you see the engines of fire trucks and they come out of the scene and uh, everybody. Uh, the parents are kind of running all over the place because they're trying to get all their kids into one spot, and and everybody has the same notion as everybody goes right to the street right in front of their home, and, and that's 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 actually the worst place yeah, to you go. You don't want to be in front of the house that's on fire. Yeah. No. No. Okay. So you don't want to oh, get you don't want to get in the way of the fire department. Yeah. You don't you don't want to be in you don't want to be on the road when the fire trucks are coming in because sometimes they'll, the uh, every all my firefighters, all our firefighters that work with us, they understand that once you get into the into the home, the the area, the area, we we kind of slow everything down because of the fact that anybody could just jump right out and everything. And we're, not only do we have, we're not trying to create more emergencies. Yeah. So as a kid, if if a fire does happen or it starts in the house or something, the first thing the the, the a child should do is. Uh, Yell for help. Uh, let your let the parents know, and then get out of the way. Get out of the house. The first thing we've we always tell them is, you get out first, then make the phone call. The important thing is to get you out, so that you can make the phone call. Yeah, that's like putting your mask on before uh, right. the kids' mask, so you don't it's, pass it's, out. It's the same thing you'd hear on an airplane. Put your mask on first before you help anybody else. Yeah. So now we're not we're not saying same kind of thing. We're, we're, we're not saying to to you run out and call. And leave your kids in there. No, get do your thing. Get get everybody out of the house, and then make the phone call. Uh, don't 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 be sitting inside the house while it's on fire, calling nine one one and giving them information while the house is still on fire. Get and, out and then call. And don't fight a grease fire with water. <laughs> yeah, don't throw water on it. Yeah, and don't deep fry a a frozen turkey. Oh. <laughs> oh, hey, that oh, is, yeah, that's that, coming up. Yeah, that is coming up, and it's a, it's a big thing. It's a big thing. We'll have to. We'll we'll get you back on. You know, oh we yeah. Got, we, you can tell us all the stories. Maybe we can go out on a field trip or something and and show what happens when you do. They they you you you'd see a bunch of uh, videos and a bunch of firefighters that would uh, demonstrate that, but it's not. We we don't do that anymore. It's not because, safe. <laughs> well, it's it's very it's not safe. Not even to not even as a as a as a demonstration, uh, but it's also uh, it, with the with the way the our with the way the popularity and people are nowadays, it's just kind of showing people, hey, how to do it. Oh, and we yeah. don't want to show people how to do it, even though it's like, hey, we're telling you, hey, don't do this. This is unsafe. This is but what look at how happen. we do it. Yeah, let me show you how to do it real quick. Yeah. Just in case. 
<laughs> yeah, we do have we do have people out there that uh, just go the opposite way of what yeah. what you're trying to tell them. <laughs> yeah, but we can always leave that for another day. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, we had that on. We had safety days on uh, on Air Force bases where they would show how uh, the training bombs that the the planes drop are just as dangerous uh, as a regular bomb, and you don't want to mess with it and stuff like that. So it's uh, those uh, safety is a big thing. <laughs> you don't oh, want to mess with that, and that's why uh, and that's why the the rubber ducks carry the the fire extinguisher and uh, an air tank. I see they got the air tank, but no app, no mask. They don't need it. Oh, they don't need the mask. Yeah, gotcha. Ducks don't need it. <laughs> yeah. They're all oily like, and everything. Yeah, you know, like water beads off their back. Yes. Yeah, that's like Smoke water. just rolls right past their Water back. off a duck's back. <laughs> water just beads off their back. Yeah, water just beads off them. Smoke rolls right past their nose. They're fine. So oh, yeah. you'll be starting, you'll be uh, putting these out starting on October 1st, and uh, it'll run until uh, they either run out or they're all found or until the 31st. Uh, but if somebody doesn't find them all and they find them, you know, sometime, they can still return them to you, I'm sure, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Or, it, come in or, or not tour. return them to you, but uh, come on over and show that, hey, we found it and mm -hmm. get the little tour. And well, realistically speaking, if, if we're being perfectly honest here, it's, say, it's like October 5th or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're still waiting on one duck and some little girl comes walking oh, in with come the on. last yeah. duck. She's probably still going to get the same stuff. Absolutely. Oh yeah, <laughs> and, and a big shake on uh, a big uh, handshake too. Yeah, for finding the duck. Nice. Yeah, we'll be like about time. Yeah, nice, <laughs> nice crisp high five while we're looking at their parents. Like, what duck you so? Long? We yeah. we should be in there demanding that Chief Cass. How long were you withholding gets, this duck? Yeah, how long you been holding him hostage? <laughs> Poor little, you get little all, we get little all, pictures of us. Like it's all worn out, chewed up on the side and everything. I was like, I totally forgot to bring it in. The, my dog took it. I tell you, one thing we might probably ought to consider is next year getting a different duck so that they don't use the same duck oh, next that year. Is, that is ah, idea. Yeah. Yeah. Put a different phone number on it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, use your phone number. And we'll just have to yeah, build up a spreadsheet <laughs> keep track of what phone number we're handing out to people. I do like I do like how big they, they are. Um, uh I was at a hotel someplace that they were doing a, a little duck hunt and they were only like this big miniature. So yeah, they were little itty bitty ducks. Uh, yeah. I thought, I thought these would be good for the kids to, to play with and stuff. I know, uh, with the older ones we have, we always have them with the red, different jacket uh -huh. and everything. we had a red one with a different jacket and my daughter has it. And she always, she always, whenever, cause she fairly seldom uses the bathtub. They always, they always take showers because they never have time for anything. Cause you know how busy kids are. But, uh, uh, Especially this time. But when they do do the bath, they, my daughter always grabs it and she's and she she just loves it. And I'm like, I'm like, is this the dog? He's like, I know, but it's so squeaky. I was like, that one doesn't squeak. <laughs> that one doesn't squeak. But it floats, just now like the, a real duck. Now we did have ones that did squeak, and it drives me crazy. It's actually my ringtone on my on my phone <laughs> uh, because my I have a I have a uh, I have a half Chihuahua, half um, wiener dog, and we call it Chorizo. <laughs> and it's great because it it uh when you you squeak that thing it doesn't matter where it's at in the house it, it, it she'll call, she'll come running, and so I I put it as my ringtone and every time I call myself or call my phone she'll come running looking around see there's no <laughs> duck and just the disappointment on her face just makes me feel that much better that day. <laughs> <laughs> You're so mean. <laughs> It's like, how can I torture my puppy today? Uh -huh. <laughs> mean. <laughs> so, all right. Well, we got ducks. We got ducks going out August first. They're going to be hidden all over, uh, all over the installation. So, if you find one, make sure that you return it to the fire department. These two guys will, um, if they're there, uh, just make sure that you do it during business hours, and they'll uh, take Seven care of you. Four. Seven, Seven to four. four. But I'm, I'm sure nobody wants to bring a duck in at seven o'clock. And yeah, not no. to mention, once school starts, they'll yeah. have to do it in the afternoon, after school. Yeah. Or maybe on a weekend. Mm. No. Yeah? No. That's, 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 the, that's what we're trying to fight against. It, <laughs> yeah, you know? Like I mean, zero, it, 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 if, if, it's at, if you find it, if you find it and it's after school, you can give, you can give me a call. Uh, that, that phone number, I'll be able to answer that call. I'll answer the call, and I'll let you know a time that we can meet up. Even if you, if you, if you want to uh, schedule it, that would be great. But well, we, we want to make sure that we're 
being courteous to our operations guys, the firefighters, because some some days uh, they're they're beat. Yeah, they're getting their butts kicked. Yeah, because we're uh, <laughs> especially around this time. This time we're doing a lot of training, prepar- uh, preparing uh, for back to school. Yeah, for the for the kids, so we're doing a lot of training with the schools and stuff. So they're they're <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna be exhausted. So <laughs> I I, I want to give them a little bit of break and not have to answer the door at eleven o'clock at night. Yeah, nice. All right, well, uh, Mark, Alex, thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. We always enjoy having the the fire department uh, come into our our humble abode over here. And uh, thanks a lot for joining us. I'm Jeff England from the Fort Johnson Public Affairs Office. Please, if you have any comments or suggestions, give us uh, give us a holler on the uh, comments section. And uh, uh, have a wonderful time. And subje- <laughs> please subscribe and hit that notification bell. And we will be listening at you later. easy.